uh, 1st John chapter 5 verses 4 on your bread of life today and uh, I'm going to read the NKJV version where the Bible says for whatever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that has overcome the world our faith very important so allow me to continue with yesterday's title bring moving by faith part two and in part one we say that it is important we firstly hear from God before we move out by faith because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord and so today I want to encourage those ones who have already who have heard from God and have moved out by faith I want to encourage you I want to give you the assurance I want to give you the certainty that you know what faith is the victory that has overcome the world your faith so you are already an overcomer by faith and so coming back to our text today let me start by saying this faith is a means of success you hear that it is a means of success it's a means of success to any man or woman daring to live god's best are you daring to live god's best then faith is a means of success faith is a means of success to that man daring to live god's best in this already conquered world with all of its affairs in other words you are stepping into by faith into a world that has already been conquered for you in other words sickness is already conquered depression is already conquered your enemies are already conquered principalities every dominion every power every name that has been named has already been conquered you are the trophy of christ's victory in the world that has already been conquered for you hallelujah so you are fighting from the place of victory from the point of victory knowing that these things have already been conquered why because this is the victory that has overcome the world this is a victory that that has overcome cancer this is the victory that has overcome depression this is the victory that has overcome bitterness my faith in jesus christ so let's come back to our theme text i want to share something i want to open our eyes to something i want us to understand the greek word for both victory and overcome because they are almost the same they carry the same meaning hallelujah they carry the same meaning overcome and victory now overcome in greek is nikau nikau and nikau comes from another word called nik n-i-k-e nik which means to subdue and also to get the victory so when we talk about overcome we're saying to subdue to get the victory nikau nik hallelujah now if you look at victory victory is nik okay so it's the same with overcome but victory is nik and this nik means victorious principle it's a victorious principle figuratively the means of success are you seeing that so in other words we are saying that faith is the only means of success for any child of god are you listening to me faith is the only means i do not care but it is by faith you want to be victorious faith you want increase faith you want multiplication faith faith is the only 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 means of success to any child of god so every born again christian conquers the world's ways or conquers the ways in the world through the victorious principle of faith it's the law of faith by grace through faith you have been saved by grace through faith you are healed by grace through faith you are blessed by grace through faith you are more than a conqueror by grace through faith you are above by grace through faith you are successful by grace through faith you are fruitful this is the means of success every born again christian conquers the world's ways through this victorious principle of faith because faith is also a principle so this faith receives and derives strength from the object of it even jesus christ because jesus is the object hallelujah the bible says in first john 5 5 who is he who who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes he who believes that jesus is the son of god are you seeing that so the object the strength is in jesus christ because they that believe that jesus christ is the son of god have overcome the world and this is our victory 
that we have overcome the world by faith. So it is faith in Jesus Christ that overcomes the world. What he did on the cross, Colossians 2, he disarmed the principalities, every dominion and power, and then gave you the authority to go and trample over those things. Am I making sense? So, friends, the conquering power and the principle that brings the world to its knees is our faith. As simple as that. This, it's your faith that will bring that situation you are going through to its knees, period. It's your faith that will bring that sickness to its knees. It's your faith that is going to bring those enemies to their knees. It is your faith that is going to bring cancer to its knees. It's your faith that is going to bring that curse, so-called curse, to its knees. It's your faith that is going to bring that rejection to its knees. It's your faith that is going to bring everything, name it, every name that has been named, every principality, every dominion, every power. It's your faith that is going to bring that so-called witchcraft, witchcraft to its knees. It's your faith that is going to bring that so-called empeuzawaka to its knees. It's your, it's, it's your faith that is going to bring that failure to its knees. It's your faith that is going to bring that so-called generation pattern, that curse or something, to its knees. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's faith. Faith is the only means of success. And if that is the only means, then it is by faith that we do these things. Hallelujah. The Bible says... In 1 John 4, 4, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you that, than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. That he that is in the world, sickness, dominion, principality, Satan, the God of this age, greater is he that is in you. This is our victory that has overcome Satan. This is the victory that has overcome he that is in the world, our faith. In Jesus Christ as its object so listen your faith is the cause of victory your faith is the means your faith is the instrument your faith is the spiritual armor by which you overcome when you move when you move so I I hope that I've encouraged you to to move out with the certainty and the assurance that this is a victory that has overcome the situation in your life, even your faith. God bless you and the best is yet to come.